it's your favorite cone head. What's a cone head? <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. You know you're old when. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Happy Sunday. It is day Vlogmas day 24. And as you can see, I still have my makeshift steamer on. So pretty much after I worked out last night, I showered. And then I just didn't have the energy to wash this hair. So I slept with the treatment, um, the mask. I slept with it in. So we are going to, yeah, we're going to take a look and see what that looks like. Um, so we're going to wash this treatment out. It should be nice and like saturated, to be honest. Um, when I was a loose natural, I used to do overnight treatments all the time. This is my first um, having locks. So we'll see how that goes. However, I thought I wanted to do a quick, I'm not going to film the entire process because it takes about an hour to retwist my hair and I haven't done a retwist ooh, in well over four months. So um, I've decided to do a retwist today and I wanted to also showcase some gels, uh, natural gels that you can use both on natural hair, like loose natural hair. Um, and you can use it on locks as well. So we're going to start with the gels and then uh, we're going to go into our wash and, and our retwist. All right, guys, so stay tuned. So we are on to the making of the gels that I mentioned. Um, I'm going to share with you two. Actually, I was going to do three, but I think that's a bit ambitious, especially if I want to get this video um, edited and done for today. So... That being said, we're going to go with two. So the first one, I'm going to give you guys both a vegan and a non-vegan option. The first one is guar gum, and that is our vegan option. Uh, you want to go with guar gum for many different reasons, but I personally chose guar gum because um, it's definitely going to add moisture back into your hair. Um, it's one of those, I would say, natural, non-toxic ingredients that will add shine. It's a natural gel, which is going to make um for a really good uh like water absorbing product because it will coat the strands of your hair and it actually does act as an emulsifier as well and so guar gum is found in a lot of different beauty products i would say that the um high it would have yeah i would say it has a high protein content and that's what makes it um able for the water to be absorbed and that's what actually gives it like a really good coating on your strands. And for that reason, it will actually prevent breakage. So if you're a loose natural, you do definitely uh, benefit from using this gel as well because it can actually act as a detangler. Um, and, you know, it does have a lot of slip. It will help to reduce frizz. And as I mentioned, this is the vegan option. And so it's non-toxic, chemical free, no animal byproduct. And I do like the fact that it is used in a multitude of beauty products and you can literally find it in the ingredients list in a lot of the uh, beauty products that you currently own. Um, one other thing I do want to mention is that if you do use this gel, pretty much not just it being a gel, but any beauty product, majority of them have what's called uh, polymer. So guar gum actually is a versatile polymer in the sense that it actually supports the hair cuticle. And so what does that mean? It actually gives you the hold that you're looking for, being that we're making a actual gel. And so you don't need anything, I would say, crazy for this recipe. It's very minimal. I'm using the guar gum. I'm using aloe vera juice, as well as distilled water. And because it is a water content, I'm going to, or I should say primarily water content, I'm going to be using a preservative. I will be adding some of my moringa oil just to give it a little bit more of moisturizing um, effects, if you will. And you know me, I'm going to obviously add essential oils. So let's get into making this. You will need obviously a bowl to include all of your ingredients. And then of course a measuring spoon so we'll get started 
So guys, as a quick tip, you want to make sure that you gently dust in your guar gum into your water solution. This will prevent clumping. So I'm demonstrating here, guys, as I gently dust the guar gum into the water solution. And you can see that I'm mixing as I do so. And again, it's to prevent any clumping. And guys, as a pro tip, honestly, do not, I mean, you can if you want to work out your arm muscles, if you want to like hand mix, but I would recommend an immersion blender. It will guarantee cut your time in half and it will get your product, your end product very smooth. So after the initial blending, I felt that my uh, guar gum was a little bit on the light side. So I did add another half a teaspoon to this mixture, as well as I added a half a teaspoon of the um, optifin, which is the preservative. So you do want to make sure that you balance that out. And I just felt that the gel could have been a little bit more thicker because I do want a stronger hold. to still remain vegan in this sense you can also as an alternative use agar agar however i'm going to be using gelatin for this one so you're just pretty much following the package instructions so we are going to add one pouch and it says right on there to one quarter cup of boiling water bring half a cup of water to boil And we actually don't have to wait for it to boil. We can just go ahead and add it. And you just want to stir it until it starts to thicken up. So I'm going to get my spatula, guys. We're getting a, a little bit of thickness. Slight amount. I'm actually contemplating adding... I don't think I'm going to have enough to fill my bottle. So I'm going to add one more pack of, first of all, I'm going to add the water. So let's start with that. So let's add, what did we add the first time around? I think it was half a cup. So let's get a half a cup more going. And... We'll add one more pack of the gelatin. That is how we're looking. We're all boiled up. So I'm going to pour this out into a glass container. And then we're going to add our preservative, our oil. I'm using this glass container. We're going to add our preservative as well as our oil. And um, yeah. And then we're going to let these two gels sit for an hour. Well, 
pretty much until I wash my hair. Um, so that'll take like 45 minutes to an hour. And then we'll come back and we'll take a look at the application of these gels and see how they work. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. So hopefully you guys can see that. Move you guys over a bit. So, I really didn't get a lot at all from this, but oh well. So, we're just going to add half a teaspoon. That wasn't a full. There we go. Half a teaspoon of our preservative. And I should have probably let it cool down a bit because when you add it and it's too hot, it doesn't do its job. So hopefully it doesn't affect it. Mm -hmm. 